Known as the playground for the gods, the island of Cyprus is dominated by mountain ranges, fertile valleys, and sprawling beaches. Conquerors, pilgrims, and smugglers have flocked to this Mediterranean mecca for over 10,000 years. Its proximity to Europe and the Middle East has more recently made the island a hotbed of conflict and conspiracy. We're in Cyprus on the hunt for clues to a 40-year-old mystery. What sank the Zenobia? In June 1980, on just its second ever voyage, the Zenobia, a massive modern ferry, was sailing with 151 people on board when it inexplicably took on water and sank to the bottom of the Mediterranean. Wow, it's massive. An estimated $200 million worth of questionable cargo remain entombed 130 feet down on the seafloor. The lifeboat. Local legend has it that the Zenobia was sabotaged by spies for smuggling weapons destined for the Middle East. To date, the sinking of the Zenobia and her unclaimed cargo remain shrouded in mystery. This is the bridge. It's eerie. Our grandfather, Jacques Cousteau, dove dozens of wrecks in the Mediterranean. He loved how their secrets remained preserved in the sea, just waiting to be unlocked. My brother and I are here to do just that. But where do we start? It's too risky to go inside without a plan. The Zenobia is as dangerous as it is enormous. Five people have died exploring this wreck. We need to find out as much as we can about this Titanic of the Mediterranean, starting with her last fateful hours. The Cyprus Port Authority in Larnaca houses old records of the ships that came in and out of the harbor. So he said archive room seven, yeah? It should have an official report of the Zenobia disaster. Oh, wow, look at this. All of these are 1849, 1915. I'll look in the filing cabinets. That'd be a good idea. Oh, this might be tough, everything's in Greek. Uh, this is it. Swedish Maritime Investigation Commission, the Zenobia. Oh, you found something. There's the cargo, trucks, trailers, passenger cars. Look at this, Fabien. Mm. Uh, it says that just after midnight on June 2nd, the ship began to heel following a turn. It tilted to its port side very quickly, causing the cargo to shift, which increased the tilt even more. Water was streaming onto the decks and into the engine room. And according to this document, the computerized pump system, which was designed to level the ship, unfortunately it failed. And any attempts to redistribute the water failed because the diesel generator had stopped working. But even stranger is that the backup generator wasn't working either. So many failures, one after the other. It's very unusual. The report says that the crew discovered a pilot door mm -hmm. had been left open which allowed water, essentially, to pour in from the sea, flooding the belly of the ship. The crew attempted to close the gate, but they failed as it was mysteriously secured and would not move. Well, that's interesting. At 2 a.m. on June 7th, 1980, the Zenobia sank to the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. All on board, including the captain, were safely removed from the vessel. This was a brand new ship. Why did the technology fail? Why did the generator fail? And the backup generator? I mean, who propped the pilot door open, allowing water to fill the belly of the ship? It's almost as if someone wanted to sink the ship. 